Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you something so cool that you are not going to believe it. We're going to build a complete web application in Adobe Flex. Now, what I mean by complete web application? It's going to be a web app with PHP connecting to a MySQL database, and that PHP is going to be generated automatically. Now, that is super cool. So let's go ahead and start that process. Let's create a project in Adobe Flex. So go ahead and right click on the screen here and go New, Flex Project, and we'll call this PHP 4. Now let's just stop right there and review the process of what we're about to do. We're about to set this Flex Project up so it can talk to PHP. Now, if you haven't done this previously, uh, go ahead and see my YouTube videos on installing a WAMP and creating a MySQL database. Uh, you will need that MySQL database WAMP installed on your computer or LAMP or MAMP, depending on what operating system you're working on. So go ahead and review that particular video on YouTube. And now we're going to show you how to build a complete client server application and part one, how to set up the Flux project. What we're going to do, there's five parts here. We're going to create the project. We're going to change application server type to PHP, set the server location, and validate configuration. That's all there is to it. So let's go into part one, get that Flex project set up. So we've given the project name PHP4. And this will typically be none if you haven't done this already. So you want to go over here and click to PHP as your application server type and go to next. At this point, if you haven't done this before, these columns will be blank. So make sure you fill this in. Let me bring up my web, my word page again. Here we go. Want to make sure you set your web root to c colon slash wamp slash www. So we installed the wamp system on our local machine and put it in a wamp folder and that root is www and the root URL will be http uh, colon forward slash forward slash localhost and that's if you're running on port 80 so let's go ahead and do that right now come along here and for root type in c colon backslash wamp backslash www and for root URL http colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then validate your configuration and you want to know the note the output folder is automatically generated. Don't have to worry about that. Let's go to next. And it's going to once again have the main source folder as src and the application file name. That's all typical Adobe stuff. So let's go to finish. And so you just set your application up. Now let's go ahead and fix it so it talks to that MySQL database and generates that PHP automatically. So this is now step two. Let's review that. So now that we've set up our Flex project, let's get it talking to a MySQL database. So go up here to the menu items above and click on Data. And then click on Create Application from Database. Now this is PHP Application 4, so we'll call it PHP 4 and we're going to give it a connection name so let's, let's hit new and then just call it PHP4 not very creative here we'll leave description blank and auto connect will happen automatically anyway so let's go to next and we have our host URL our database name and our username we can leave password blank now what is the database name okay so if you've forgotten that remember from our project last time and you want to go review that video if you haven't done so. When we create the WAMP server, we imported a media wiki. So let's click on our WAMP server icon and go to phpMyAdmin to remind ourselves of what that name was. And here's the uh, phpMyAdmin. And I did import media wiki. That's the name of the database name. And there's 34 tables. Let's go back now and type that into our informational box. Move this up now that we've done that. And type in for our database name media wiki and bring this back up and we're going ahead and test the connection and the connection was successful great now if it's not successful maybe you type the name in wrong or possibly your WAMP server is not turned on make sure you can go down into your icon and turn that server on and we're good let's go to next 
Here's a little summary table. We can just skip on and hit finish. Next thing we need to do actually is choose the table we want to look at. Oh, there's those 34 tables. Isn't that fantastic? Let's go back up and we're, let's look for user. Or go down and look for user. There it is. We'll click on that. And now we have to choose the primary key. Now, what is a primary key in a relational database? And we'll be talking about this in detail further on in uh, other videos. Every database table must have a distinct key. That key tells the machine that that specific piece of data is unique. So, and you'll, it's, it's really not any more complicated than that. And we'll be going over that a little more in the future. So click user ID. That is the uh, key for this particular table. Next. And it's going to shoot everything to the bin debug folder. And the file name we're going to be interested in looking at is user.php. Hit next. And now you can choose uh, what you want to appear in the app that we're taking a look at. And you actually can do a filter on uh, some of the uh, columns. And we'll just choose username and finish. And now what's happening is all this PHP and code is being generated for us automatically that will talk to our server videos. So now what we're going to do is run this application. And what I see right here now is my table in my SQL running on my local drive. I can come along here and actually click on one of these uh, rows and modify. I can add another column if I want. Let's do that. Mike 2 and... Uh, Mike Lively. We'll just make up a user uh, email, email at at u uh, dot com, and we'll just put five and save. And you can see we've actually generated another column in our database. We could delete that, or we can search by name. Let's search on Mike too. search. And now I'm going to show you the coolest thing ever. Let's go back to our project. Let's click on that bin debug folder and let's look for that user PHP. There it is. We're going to right click that and open with a text editor. And ho ho ho, look at this. I got to open this up. This is so cool. All the PHP code has been generated for us automatically. Now we have written hundreds of programs with PHP interfaces for Flex2 and boy that has been tough. But now it's all done for us automatically and look right here. Oh, Find all. Insert. Update. Delete. Count. Wow! It's going to do it all for me automatically. Going to be able to work with that MySQL database. I'm just about to jump up for joy. This is super cool. Flex generates the code for me with a click of a button. Hey, I'm not that good of coder. I cannot generate uh, 400 lines of code with a click of a button. Thank you, Adobe Flex.